Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Mixore, which, depending on how you pronounce the title, is probably a pun for misery. Mixore is a game by Charon, the creator of games such as Yandarella, and like all the other games, it features girls who really need to get a hold of their emotions and not murder you. This game contains violent and grotesque depictions of Moe. The story is a work of fiction. Any resemblance to anything is a coincidence. Ignore the fact it knows your first name. I hear sirens. I can't move my body. It's pitch black in front of me. What's going on? Who turned out the lights? Am I dead? No, worse. I'm in one of Cheron's games. I woke up to find myself in a white room. It appeared to be a hospital room. I was lying in a bed. Who am I? I can't remember anything, except Matrix references. Do I have amnesia? There was a girl sitting next to me. A teacup was sitting on a nearby table. Did she put it there for me? How did she know I liked tea? I wonder what's in it. Probably some kind of poison. Inside the teacup was... And this is actually, I guess, a choose your perspective girl. So the title screen one would be... Strawberry milk. And I... You know, I kind of like strawberries. Some strawberry milk. Day one. Awakening. Awakening to some kind of anime girl with googly eyes in front of me. Oh, wait, yeah. This has been my most accurate prediction ever. You all seem to know my name. Like, every single one of these games, I wake up and you know my name and I have no idea who you are. Where am I? Who are you? Who, where am I from? Who made me? I, I honestly don't think we've ever met. I think you're just playing that stupid trick all you characters do. Also, all your names are... Puns. How awful. Stop self-inserting yourself into my life. Who the hell are you? Seriously. I have this weird conspiracy in my head. It's like a weird... What's they call that it's nowadays? Headcanon? That... This is some weird social experiment to try and see how people interact when they're thrust into a situation where they have faulty memory and you just insert a person in front of them like, this person's your girlfriend or your parent or whatever. 
And they try to see if they can reform that person, maybe, and kind of deal with crazy, you know, psycho situations. Probably for some stupid reason, like, to make everyone hate anime. So your instinct is... <laughs> anime situation! I'm gonna die! Like that. This situation is just awful. Awful. No. This is a normal. Sorry. I don't know who you are. I'm leaving now. That would have been for the best. For the sake of my health. <laughs> Whoops. Just do it already. Damn. Reverse psychology, even when I don't intend it. Why? That's because I don't know any of you people. I remember who I am, and I just don't remember you. Good, so am I. See you later. Good night. How did you know I like strawberry milk? The girl who called herself Nagisa Ichagalu. It's Icha Galate. We'll go with that. That's, that's that'll be your name now. Went home. She seems to be my girlfriend. Apparently, she'll be back to see me tomorrow too. I wish tomorrow would hurry up and not come. I don't want to ever see her again. Lock the door. Oh, that actually is gameplay. Huh. A table that's rather stylish for being in a hospital. A bed that's rather stylish for being in a hospital. A stool that's rather stylish for being in a hospital. Wait, no, it isn't, because she was sitting there. It's a chest of very stylish things. Looking at it more closely shows it's not simply a chest of drawers. It's had a stylish refrigerator integrated with it. Inside is the strawberry milk Nagisa brought for me. It's a closet that may or may not be stylish. There are outfits here that are also very stylish because I have good taste. There's a hallway beyond this door. I can sense someone's- oh shit. Watch it be something like, I'm her actual girlfriend. Who the hell are you? Oh. This is how normal people talk. The girl walked away. It seems she knows me. I wonder who she could be. Life is awful. Can't sleep noises. Day two. Outing.
おはよう。I slept awful. Some person was making weird sleep noises from a mic. I remember that I didn't remember you. Shit. She can see from my computer screen. We can just create new memories. I'm on to you. No, I'm awful. Why do you hang around me? It's because I have amnesia, don't I? You have some kind of weird amnesia fetish. You decide one day we're gonna find some of amnesia and just insert yourself into their life, like one of your Japanese animes. Um, okay. This is gonna be one of those stupid reverse psychology things, yeah. Just for a bit, not like I have a choice. Good, I'm outside. Time to run. Okay. Let's remember this for romantic dialogue. Sunny days are the best to do laundry on. I think I got hit by a car. I don't know. Being hit by cars hurt. Oh, a st oh, wait a minute. You're the stalker, and she's the girlfriend, and you're gonna convince me my actual girlfriend is a stalker. So I'll get up real bad. Nothing good can come of this. Just like the last two lives I lived in similar situations. Coincidence. That's what I do too. Yeah, I know. No. Oh, okay. It sucks being an anime. We had very little fun shopping together. Now I guess I didn't care about my memory loss. She just stayed with me, smiling the whole time. Somewhere along the way, I seem to have started to pay more attention to her smiling face. And then I realized she was completely crazy. And I started to question why I talked like this. This wasn't fitting for an anime pro tag. Hi. Nope. You all have weird, stupid pun names, too. Be 
But yeah, she's actually probably the actual girlfriend. And she's just, you know, taking a normal pace or some thing with amnesia logic where you're like, not supposed to shock the person. Sane, Koku, forever. What kind of connection does she have to me? More generic sleeping noise. Runs lightlier. So sexy. Whoops. Suspicion. Today, Nagisa brought me to what she calls our memory spot. She calls it a spot, but it's actually my room. This is where I stopped you! Good. It was my privilege. I remember that you should probably check it. You know, this is conversation's all real nice, but I need to check my texts. Mm hmm. Yep. Both of these dialogue options are off. I'm just gonna act ignorant. First time. No, I actually do get it. I just find it horrifying. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, kiss, yeah, yeah, kiss. Of course, that's what I was thinking of. me. No, really, I don't. No. 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 No! Damn. No, it wasn't embarrassing, it was just horrifying. Various degrees of horrifying, like not fully, but so-so, maybe a little bit of embarrassment mixed in, and then maybe some awkwardness. I'm not sitting there silent. I'm talking to people through the communication of oh shit. Not your eyes, which seem to want to kill me, you crazy person. You? You're imagining things. In that case? Oh, okay, we're back to the glittery eyes. Okay, everything's fine. Nope. 
No, she didn't risk it this time. Wait a minute. There's a small scrap of paper inside one of the drawers. Today that girl came to my house again. She's like a stalker. I've told her already I have a girlfriend, but she just keeps confessing over and over. Why me? For some reason, though, it doesn't bother me. Maybe because she's cute. If I didn't already have a girlfriend, I might have gone out with her, then found out the horrible truth. Why is it... Why do I not feel the least bit annoyed? A girl who blindly loves me. I guess that might not be so bad. I wonder who wrote this. Probably some nerd on the internet. For now, I'll just keep it with me. So dead. Sleep noise. Motorcycle. Day 4. Ichigo Kurosaki. It was time. Nagisa should have come in to visit me like she always did. That's why I fought as I kept waiting. But Nagisa never came. Did something happen to her? Could it be that stalker that happened to be her? I got worried and burst out of my hospital room, ignoring the meta-knowledge that my player was giving me. Our memory spot. My room. She might be there. With that in my mind, I ran over there. I arrived at our memory spot. My room was different than usual. The first thing that- Oh shit, my field view is red. Fresh blood. A person's blood. I better taste it to make sure it's not ketchup. Wait. Oh, this is... this is... I remember this. My Sana is dead! It was Sana. It was Sana. Sana Kako Lalate was lying on the floor, covered in blood. Because you just murdered someone, and I'm pretty freaked out, and I had to give an over-the-top reaction for this Let's Play. Don't ask me what that is, you wouldn't know, you crazy game person. Yeah, I think it's obvious who did. Tana is dead! I mean, if you're into Pollock paintings, I guess it's kind of great. Oh, I wonder how you did that. Yeah, and that's who he was. But that's not the point. You know, you, you really should have murdered people. It's, it's much more simple just to send a breakup relationship thing on Facebook or something like that. If I say you're a good girl, will this get me out of the situation? It worked in that one time when I actually lived, but, you know... Probably not. Murder is, uh... A bit much. No. You know. I 
remembered. My memory was slowly piecing itself back together inside my head, bit by bit. The fact it took this long reminded me that I'm a complete idiot. But something's off. That's it. That's it. The person I gave my first kiss to in this spot was a Nagisa. Also, I really should have gotten some curtains for those windows. It was Sanai. If my regained memories are correct, everything Nagisa has told me is the complete opposite of the truth. My girlfriend was Sanai. Nagisa was a stalker. I don't know why she's told me all the things she has. It doesn't seem like she's simply lying. But she totally is. Was she trying to implant memories in my mind that were more convenient for her? When was it? It was raining that day. I went over to his house as usual. Then I saw it. Oh, I see. This is... Her perspective. So, did we, like, not know each other? you just been, like, looking at my window all this time? See, this is how people stalked each other before the invention of social networking. Back in my day... We had to follow them home and look for their windows and hope they didn't have curtains. You kids don't know what you've got. This is, uh... I think it's the part you go crazy. You know, more so than before. <laughs> I guess, I guess that's what we would call this situation. If you know what I mean. Never floats a boat. Misunderstandings. A word that you always remember um, when it comes to any anime situation. Everything can be solved in these worlds of dialogue. Everything. But it never happens. Never. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not really. Your love, that you believe to be the greatest of all, does not match my love for myself. You're the obvious! Because it's true, technically. Yeah, I kind of am. That's a different subject, though. Pretty much. No. No, it isn't. <laughs> mm. 
Ooh, that sounds deadly. Mm-hmm. We'll be going out in about two minutes. And I start running, and you start chasing me. Nagisa broke down crying. Large tears rolled down her anime cheeks. Nothing will ever get resolved if you just deny it. That one's probably true, though. I don't, I don't really like the situation that evolved from it, but it is true, so I'll give you that one. Okay. I'm, I mean, if you had to choose between me or you... Oh, this actually worked out. As horrible as I actually thought that option was. I mean, both of them are bad, but... This is so surreal. Now I feel awful. No. Oh. My Toki's finally bloomed for you. After I told you to go kill yourself, but the, that's not the point. Suddenly, Nagisa thrust a knife into her stomach. It wasn't just once. Over and over, a river of deep crimson blood spilled out of her body. And then, she finally ran off strength and toppled onto the floor. I was stunned by the scene unfolding before me. It made me want to reload my save. Cause now I felt like a total ass. My hands and feet were trembling. I couldn't even move. All I could do was watch Nagisa die right in front of me. There was no way to stop or help her. I was a fool. Both before and after losing my memory, I was a spineless piece of trash. My room had been painted red with the blood of Nagisa and Sanai. Nagisa's lifeless eyes simply stared at me. You loved me. Despite being dressed in blood, having died the way she did, I think I like. Oh no. Kokoro, you too. Nakisa so was smiling. Don't die. I say after reloading my save where you did die. Let's run away together and forget all this happened.
I, I don't think I actually did anything. I'm pretty sure you just stared at my window every night. Oh, you had the, uh, in the Doki Dokis. Should get that checked out. Yeah, murder is kind of a it's kind of a one shot deal. Yeah, you know, human fragility and attacking people is wrong. Let's just get let's just get to the point. No, we already went for this. Don't do it. I mean, seriously, don't. It's really depressing. I have my video games and my money and my stuff and the internet and my figures. So, yeah, it's not quite accurate. You're gonna murder us both in a double suicide, aren't you? <sighs> okay. I put both of my arms around Nagisa. I felt Nagisa's gentle warmth and a feeling of unease. By that time, it was already over. A knife had been stabbed into my stomach. I should have just went back to the ever ending. Why did I ever have feelings for you? This was stupid. This might have been for the best. No, nearly no. I deserve the punishment I received for doing absolutely nothing and protecting my girlfriend and getting stabbed. Party. Oh, that's that's some ambition. Things go to hell. I don't know. Considering our current situation, uh, I guess you didn't get your wish. You have awfully nice dreams for someone who stabs people to death. My consciousness was fading. My vision became more and more cloudy. I couldn't see anymore except for this text in front of my eyes. The dark silence was killing me. <laughs> I guess I'm going to die. I wondered where Nagisa went. I couldn't hear her voice anymore. I want to see her. It's pitch black. I'm lonely. I hear sirens.